A skill that you're going to need as you're trying to complete a lot of these problems with graphing is actually taking lines and putting them in slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b is probably the easiest way to graph lines. Now, you probably already know this. We've actually touched on this a little bit earlier. But when you're solving for these, you need to get y by itself. So in essence, it's like a literal equation where you get y by itself. <clears throat> the other thing that you want to do is make sure you get the right-hand side in the right order. It's mx plus b. So the x part comes second, and then the, regular, the part that's a regular number comes last. It's really just a matter of using your equation rules to manipulate the equation to get it to look like this. So let's look at it. wrote three examples on the board. The first example, 3x plus y equals 8. The y is on the left-hand side, which is good, but the 3x is not where it should be. So what we're going to do is subtract 3x from both sides. That'll cancel it out over here, giving me y equals. Now, what should I do? Should I write 8 minus 3x, or should I write negative 3x plus 8? And I want to write negative 3x plus the 8. I need the x part to come second for this form and I need the 8 to come last. Now notice it was minus 3x, it became negative 3x. The 8 was positive, so I wrote plus 8. Now if we look at the second one, I've got 9x minus 2y equals 8. I'm going to take 9x again, because the x is on the wrong side, and I'm going to subtract it from both sides. <clears throat> That's going to leave me with negative 2y equals Again, I'm going to write negative 9x plus 8. I'm going to write it where the x part comes first and the number part comes second. That constant comes second. Now the y is not by itself. So to get rid of that negative 2, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. So that will cancel. y equals. Now, which should I divide the negative 2 by? And the answer is both of them. This is... This negative 2 has to be distributed. It's part of the distributive property. So negative 9x divided by negative 2x. I'm sorry, by negative 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Leaves me with 9 over 2, since that doesn't divide nicely, x. 8 divided by negative 2, and this 8 is positive because of the plus, that is negative 4. So I'm going to write minus 4. Now, if you take a look at both of these, <clears throat> y equals negative 3x plus 8. That's mx plus b. y equals 9 halves x minus 4. Again, mx plus b. All right. Now, the last one has a fraction in it, doesn't it? All right. Well, the first thing we know, notice is that, hey, that's on the wrong side. So I'm going to go ahead and go minus 4x to both sides. We still want to get it over there. So 3 fourths y equals negative 4x plus 10. <clears throat> All right. How do we deal with a fraction? A couple ways to do it. The shortest, most straightforward way is to go on ahead and multiply by the reciprocal. Because if you multiply by the reciprocal, it's all going to cancel out. The 4's will cancel and the 3's will cancel. If you multiply one side of an equation by something, you have to multiply it by the other side. So I have to multiply this side by 4 thirds. Now, this is going to give us some ugly arithmetic over here. So we're going to end up doing 4 thirds times negative 4x. We're going to end up doing 4 thirds times 10 because you have to do it to everything, I have to distribute this. So I'm going to put a 1 underneath this. Nothing cancels. 4 times negative 4 would be negative 16. That negative looks a little nicer. 3 times 1 is 3. So negative 16x. And I'm losing my y equals in all of this. So y equals negative 16 over 3x. Then I'm going to put a 1 under here. Again, nothing cancels. 
and it gives me 40 over 3. This 43 over 40 over 3 is positive. Not everything you convert to slope intercept is going to look pretty, but there you have it. Anyway, when you're solving these problems, you want to get it so that the y equals is by itself. You need to do your algebraic rules for solving equations to manipulate it and get it to look like y equals mx plus b.